I would say I would say the corporate interest uh, run BC, um, and uh, with uh, with Occupy, uh, what we um, with Occupy Vancouver, what we were engaged in is. Um, uh, we actually planned an action just it, just in advance of Vancouver's municipal election uh, that was similarly in, uh, titled um, uh, "Who do your elected officials really work for?" Right, uh, and the the issue that we were bringing to bear is the fact that in Vancouver uh, in th this year's election about six million dollars was spent in total on election campaign spending and uh, and advertisements. Uh, that adds up to about $10 per person, to, per voter in Vancouver. That's a lot of money. It's more money than any other Canadian city is spending on elections because most other cities have uh, provinces that have camp, you know, caps on campaign spent, uh, contributions and from corporate donations. So the vast majority, 80% of, uh, if you look at the two main major political parties, the only two political parties that take money from corporations are Vision Vancouver and, um, and NPA, the nonpartisan the non association. Um, and uh, they both, uh, 80 percent, about 80 percent of what they take in comes from corporations, and the vast majority of that comes from big developers like Concord Pacific, um, Jim Patterson Developments, um, and individual developers like Bob Rennie. Uh, so if you look at the, uh, the amount of money that these parties are taking in, you can really see it reflected in the policies they're making year-round, right? The policies they're making uh, benefit building developers. Uh, those building developers obviously have a vested interest in keeping the price of real estate very, very high, uh, which of course is uh, one of the reasons that it is quite high in Vancouver. You know, Vancouver has the most expensive real estate in all of Canada, and it's no wonder when you consider that who's benefiting from that high real estate 